Hello. I am back after the six months of the Dr. Joe Dispenza training in Cancun. I thought I'd share my meditation experience since then, since I came back, because I've shared quite a few videos about what happens on the trainings or more than about my meditations on the trainings and my experience as a Healy. If you haven't seen them, they're in the playlist. But today I'm coming on YouTube to share about my evolution, my transition in my meditations. I came back on a high feeling super loved, super happy from the training. Anybody who saw me thought might have thought I was high, literally. Um, I love that word, literally. <laughs> Can you tell I live in, live in England now? Getting distracted. Anyway, this video is about the six months post Dr. Joe Dispenza training, and it's to share about my journey and my experience in the meditations, because when I first got back, I was on a high and a buzz, and the meditation still felt super strong. Then eventually they started getting a bit more gradual, and I started getting a bit harder, but then there were times where it was easier, times where it was harder. Most mornings I did not want to wake up, but whether I wanted to or not, I pushed myself to get up and do the work, do the meditations. And the goal was always to heal the body through the mind. That's the reason why I went in the first place to his training. I had the support of Give to Give, um, where they provide a scholarship for me to attend so that I could work on healing my body through the mind. And I will say I'm not 100% healed. However, my mindset is different. I am more joyous, happy every morning, and I know that I will heal. And I know that I don't need to fear all the things, the worst case scenario that my head kept playing in my head, playing over and over again. And all of a sudden, one month ago, I um, had a switch. It happened maybe a month ago <laughs> where I stopped focusing on trying to heal my body through the mind, but I was focusing on trying to connect with God, trying to connect with the divine. Really hard to say it out loud because I'm still trying to navigate and figure this out. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but all I want in my meditations now is like to find that point of bliss, of joy. And it's been interesting, very interesting. And I don't know how to explain it very well because I know I've had a few contacts while I was on the training. I had moments where my body left my, my soul left my body and I was elsewhere and I had moments where, and just to say there are no drugs involved on these trainings. He has a disclaimer where you're not even allowed to take any drugs. So when I had these mystical experiences, it was purely through the meditation and the breath. And I know I've been to places which... I don't know how to describe, but it wasn't here. It was, I think it was here. <laughs> I don't know where, but I know it wasn't here. Um, so recently I just have been focusing on that. I'm trying to create a connection with God. I'm trying to get in contact with the divine. And um, it's just so beautiful every morning waking up and being like, all right, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's explore the mystical. And I love it. I love it because I don't know why. It just feels so good. It just leaves this blissful, happy tone to your day. And you feel so much more in contact and in union with everybody. And it does help with compassion and living a more respectful towards other lives. And it's weird because I became a yoga teacher six, seven years ago. I can't even remember how long ago now. And I didn't want to be a yoga teacher. I found yoga because I was trying to heal um, mentally. And I just stayed, I connected and did my training. And still when I was doing my training, I didn't even think about becoming a yoga teacher. It was just, I wanted to deepen my practice. Then when the training was over, like, okay, now you have to teach. And I was like, what? And that was also a beautiful journey. And I know what the eight limbs of yoga are. And I know that the final goal is to reach samadhi, enlightenment, connect with the divine and all that beautiful, juicy, loving energy. 
but I just never thought that was going to be me. I just thought that is something for gurus. That is something for people who devote their whole lives to study, to connect and to take this journey. And so I was, it was almost like fairy tales you read, but you don't think they'll ever be you because you can't, you don't believe you're enough. You don't believe you know enough or you're worthy enough. Um, for me, it was a lot to do with my Italian Western roots. It's like, I'm Italian. I'm not Indian. I don't, I'm never going to be able to have that experience. Those are the gurus you read about, but, and I'm not saying I have that experience <laughs> nowhere close, but I'm saying there has been a contact with the divine, which I felt, and I never thought it was something I would. And so now that is where my journey has taken me. And that's why I'm going back to another Dr. Joe retreat in September, the Niagara Falls. I'm really excited about that because I just want to keep diving deeper and deeper into these meditations and see where they take me. Uh, to all my family and friends, thank you so much for being part of this journey. Um, don't be worried about me. I'm super happy. <laughs> it's like great. Um, not going crazy. Just exploring higher dimensions, which I know is hard to, to understand when you're not doing the work, when you're not meditating every day and doing these weird things, I guess, consider we are going to have to, I don't know. I'm not doing a great job at explaining myself, but I'm trying. I'm really trying to say meditation is awesome. Uh, the transition from going from trying to create the mind-body connection to connecting with the mystical, with God, has been surprising for me. I wasn't expecting it, unexpected. And I love it. That's it. That's all I wanted to share. And I love you all. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, if you do want to connect, if you do like to talk about this stuff, which I love too. In fact, tomorrow night we are having a little meet, um, hang out together to chat about Dr. Joe's work and to then do a meditation together. But if you want to do it, if you want to chat about Dr. Joe work or any type of meditations that you've been really into i've i'm always my door is always open i'm always curious and i'm always open to learning more thank you so much for listening so far ciao